Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for probability! I mean seriously, we're like 10 videos into this and we haven't talked about probability? This is a statistics class for goodness sakes! Well we're gonna fix that problem right now! But first, let's do a quick overview of this course. Doing research requires ethics, both at the data collection stage and at the data reporting stage and at the data analysis stage. And once we have data, the first step is to visualize the univariate distributions, either a bar chart for categorical data or a histogram for numeric data. And what are we looking for? We're looking for coding errors like male and female switcheroos or having a treatment group and a treat group. I call that redundant labels. We look for outliers, etc. Then after we look at the univariate distributions, we look at the bivariate distributions. Scatter plots for numeric on numeric visualizations and median dot plots for categorical on numeric distributions. Then after that, we visualize the diagnostics like SL plots and residual dependence plots and histogram of the residuals to make sure the numbers that we are going to compute and trust actually make sense and are trustworthy and whatnot. Then if the diagnostics check out. And only then. Can we start computing and interpreting statistics? Like a mean difference between groups, a slope, an intercept, a correlation coefficient. And these numbers answer some essential questions, like... Hey, what can I expect my score to be? Like, how strongly are these two variables related? I gotta know! How large is the difference between these two groups? You with me? Semester overview, over. Now what do we do? Glad you asked. But let me be straight with you. Now we got a new problem. Ah, oh, man, I was just beginning to get things. Our new problem is that we actually don't care about our specific sample a lot of times. If you're looking at the effects of dairy on production, you don't care about the last 30 days because the last 30 days are over. What you care about is the future. What is your productivity score going to be tomorrow? But we haven't lived the future yet. And the future won't be exactly like the past. Hopefully, it'll be close. But there is the chance that what we found in our sample is just an anomaly. So maybe we just want to characterize that sort of uncertainty. In which case, we're asking questions that require some information about probability. Such as, what is the probability that what I have found in my sample is meaningless? My best guess of tomorrow's productivity score is 57, but it probably won't be exact. But what range can I expect my actual productivity score to fall in? How uncertain am I about the difference between these two groups? What is the margin of error for presidential polling? In short, we know the data we have collected is just a sample of what could happen. And we want to use that information to characterize our uncertainty about the future. Or at least about those instances that we haven't yet sampled. And to answer these sorts of questions, we need to know something about probability. So let's say you really want to see Hamilton. Like who doesn't, am I right? But here's the problem, there are 10,000 people a day trying to see it. So you type into your app and you say, hey, I want to see Hamilton, what's up? So what is your probability of seeing Hamilton tonight? One out of 10,000. Because I'm just one person and there are 10,000 people fighting for that one ticket. So what is probability? It is the number of times what I am interested in could happen divided by the number of events or possibilities. So for example, if I get my amazing wife to also put in her name, now we got two possibilities I'm interested in, me and my wife. And so now our probability becomes two out of 10,000. And probabilities always range from zero to one. Zero means there is exactly no chance, like if you didn't even sign up for Hamilton. And one means there is an absolute certain chance. Like if you had a buddy named Guido who went to all those 10,000 people and you know, ask them real nice and stuff not to put their name in. That's what I meant. So that's what a probability is. Let's look at another example. Let's say your malicious and evil statistics instructor decides he's gonna hand out grades randomly. So he decides to hand out 10 C's, 8 B's, 7 D's, 3 F's, and 2 A's. So rude. What is the probability you will get a B or higher? Well, it is the number of scores that are B or higher, which in this case is 10, divided by the total number of scores, which in this case is 30. So you have a 33% chance of getting a B or higher. Well, gee golly, I don't like them odds. 
Yeah, who would? Unless you're somebody that's constantly failing, in which case, I'll take them odds. So once again, probability is the number of events that you might be interested in divided by the number of all possible events that could happen. This is what we call finite probability, finite sample, finite sets. I really gotta decide what this is called, but for sure it has the word finite in it. All this means is that we can count the number of possibilities there are, but sometimes you can't count the number of possibilities. Probability that tomorrow, on my way to work, I will get a red light at every single stoplight. You can't count the future, dude. It ain't happened yet. Probability the guy I meet on the internet is a total creep. I'm happily married, by the way, to a total fox. This is just an example. I suppose it's theoretically possible you could gather every dude who you might happen to meet on the internet and find out if they're a creep. But that ain't too feasible, is it? Probability that I will get exactly three sixes if I roll three dice on the next roll. Probability I will be YouTube famous. One. That future is certain, young Padawan. Probability I will wear a wig on the next video. All these questions require something that we can't actually count. Oh, whatever shall we do, great statistician friend of mine? The answer is simple. Sampling, which we'll talk about next time. Until then, peace out.